Hi, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's Steve about to react to this vid by Cameron. It's titled, Andrew Tate ruined a generation of kids. The cheering has been poisoned by, by Andrew Tate. Well, let's see here what he has to say. Let's watch. So ever since 2022, there has been a rise in, like, the self-improvement alpha finance gurus that all spew the same message. Wake up at 4 a.m., start a business, start working out, <laughs> stop playing video games, and escape the matrix. All that jazz, right? And these videos have become <laughs> extremely popular Excuse because me. of people like Andrew Tate. I mean, we all saw the message Who's in, prison? in 2022. How literally Is everybody he... was posting that man's yeah, clips he's and he was just saying some of the craziest things. I am extremely versed in CPR. I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. And since so many people saw him what? get success from doing that method, a lot of people are trying to pull that same method nowadays. So now you got all these like fake like Andrew Tates going around and it, it's pretty cringe. Stop breathing like a f bunny rabbit. A bunny oh rabbit God. is a victim and it breathes in and out so you quickly you can see its stomach going in and out. But what's cringier than that yeah, is I mean, that there's nothing wrong with having braces. I had braces, okay, twice. I had original braces like that, the metal braces, and then I also had Invisalign. So, no shade, but shut up. <laughs> That's all I'm looking at is your metal off while you're talking. And you're trying to preach to people and talk shit. Like, nah. These hustle culture, self-improvement, like finance guru videos have leaked into the youth. And now you got these kids the spewing that exact Is same message Canada? that they're spewing in these videos when they're like 13 years old. And it's one of the saddest, but also cringiest things I've ever seen. When you're playing video games, oh you are God. literally doing absolutely nothing. Boy, you just finished playing for a night. Shut up. Going into a fake world and you're not doing anything productive. You're not making money. You're not starting a business. You're not doing anything. So get off the video game follow me for more tips like this oh my god like 10 years old right. why do you need to be making money and have a business at 10 years old this video is insane to me because the internet has literally brainwashed kids slash teens into thinking that doing normal things that teens do is a waste of time like playing video games it's chilling with their friends or just watching a movie or something like that apparently those yeah, aren't normal things child. that teens do anymore apparently you got to be set with mansions rolexes lambos and a whole business by 13 years old or you're a failure which is actually insane how am i supposed to have all that by 13 bro by 13 i don't even think i had 13 dollars but before we get any further number one youtube i am not trying to bully slash harass any of these teens in this video you if you're watching this video do not go out and bully slash harass any of them and number two thank you guys for 100k subscribers I, i've never just sat down and just said thank you to y'all i just wanted to say i, I appreciate like every single one of you that legit sit down watch my videos or maybe stand up maybe you might be standing up watching this video right here but i appreciate anybody who pretty much just shows support on this channel watches the videos shares them with their friends whatever thank you now that being said let's get back to the video this may be controversial but i think teens could spend at least five of their teenage years just trying to become successful and so before you start hating in the comments let me say this it literally takes 82 dollars a day to make the average yearly income in america and online there's literally like hundreds maybe even thousands of courses or different models that you could use to make that money right now i'm doing video editing and i own an agency so i'm making even more than that each day and i'm only 13 so you could easily do the same thing. I find this video insane because this kid hasn't even lived two of his teenage years, yet he thinks most teens should spend five of their teenage years trying to become five, successful. Five, nigga? That literally just doesn't make five? sense because this man hasn't experienced what he's talking about. He's just talking out of his booty cheeks, you know? That's literally so And I don't believe you, little boy, that you own an agency. I don't believe you culture brainwash right there like i feel like the saddest part is that this kid is 13 saying this bro he was 12 last year isn't that insane it's different if this kid lived his teenage years then said this it made more sense because he'd have the experience to back up what he's but saying he's but the fact that he didn't child. experience his teenage years and he's just saying this on his first teenage year <laughs> that just pretty much confirms that he's his just very what he heard online teenager. from one of these gurus Oh, I hate y'all, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have an over exaggeration. I don't hate any of these children. But get off your mama Wi Fi before you piss me off. Alright? She ain't paying the bill for you to be on here saying stupid shit. Do your homework and clean your room. 
I spent all night working on my business. I've just watched in a couple of months when I'm gonna be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life. You guys are gonna call me lucky. Just watch. Number one, your friends are not out drinking and losing their virginity on a Sunday night. Everyone hates Sunday because it's pretty much the prelude to Monday. Nobody is doing Four anything on a Sunday night except for sleeping, my boy. Number two, who are your friends losing their virginity to? The hookers in GTA? You do not look a day over 10. And number what three, just because about? you're up at 3 a.m. grinding for your business, that doesn't make you better than everybody else. Like, yeah, the oh. way that this man is talking is making it seem like, oh, I'm better than my whole class because I'm up at 3 a.m. grinding. And it's like, bro, I'm I not hate that narrative too. That shit is goofy. If you want to wake up early, cool, but stop trying to make it seem like, oh, I wake up at 6 a.m. I see that a lot. Like, on YouTube and shit, 6 a.m. morning routine. Nobody cares that you're waking up at 6. That doesn't mean that you're more productive or your days are more efficient. That don't mean none of that. That just means you force yourself to wake up early for whatever reason. <laughs> and and these are these people, they, they set their alarm to just wake up. It's not like, oh, they got to get up and go to work at a certain time. No, they're just like, I, I get up at 6 a.m. every day. Congratulations. What do you want for that? I'm not waking up early. Well, I naturally wake up early anyway. Uh, I get up around like between 7, 30, and 8. That's the time I naturally wake up. But I ain't waking up no earlier than that. To, to try to seem like I'm more productive or better than somebody. Like, that shit is corny. And then just because you're doing that, let's be real here. It's half past three right now on a Monday night. Oh. I've been staying up all night working my new business. But watch, a few months from now, when my business is taking off, I'm going to be chilling in Dubai, living my dream life, and everybody's going to call me lucky. Just wait and see. This man literally just he stole the script same. from the yeah. last kid. The only thing that he did differently was add some music and some like little effects and stuff like that. Other than that, this is the exact same video as the last kid. They're just, they just said the exact same thing. Word for word, bar for bar, no soldier boy. Word for Shit. word, bar for bar. I hate to be that guy and say that someone else's dream is unrealistic because I'm kind of living my dream right now. I mean, I've always wanted to create videos on YouTube ever since I was young and now I'm doing it. So I don't really want to hate on somebody else's dream you know but how in the hell are you gonna move to dubai in only a few months that that's my question when right you're here. 12 you don't even have your license. <laughs> number two i don't even think you can put in an application to move inside of a crib you know like how you is this, can. Make that this is happen? stupid it doesn't make sense like i said i'm not really trying to hate or anything in this video no nobody hate this is just this is not real life <laughs> You can't do shit as a child. You can't do nothing. You are literally under the complete control of your parents and what they want to do. You ain't making no decisions to do nothing. Shut up. Not necessarily these kids' fault. It's more of what they see on social media. Like, if they see somebody talking about, oh, I'm about to move to Dubai in a few months, they're going to spew that same thing. But, like but I they said, just lying. They're just going to randomly <laughs> up and move to Dubai in just a few months. Like, it, it does not work like that. This is not GTA. You can't just go on Dynasty 8 and cop a crib within two minutes. It's not like that. And also, another question is, why are these kids so obsessed with moving to Dubai? They don't say nowhere else. What about Atlantis? When I was they don't young, know nothing I about to live Dubai. In Atlantis. I wanted to live they underwater live with the mermaids. Aquaman, all that stuff, bro. That was probably sick. But now we got kids saying Dubai. Like, what the heck? Oh my god. This video is crazy <laughs> because this kid is stressing about his parents working at 13. Not about his parents being poor or homeless or not being able to put food on the table. Nah, He's he mad stressing they still working. because his parents are working a stable job when he is 13 years old. Something that is normal. Does that not sound crazy? Like, I understand that crazy. we all have the dream of retiring our parents, buying them no, a house, buying them whatever. When I was 13, I wanted to go play hopscotch or double dutch or whatever the fuck I was doing. I don't know. I wouldn't think about, oh, let me take care of my parents. That's never been a thought. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it out here by myself. You feel me? Like, nah. So him putting that up, I mean, I guess that's kind of sweet because it's like, oh, you want to take care of your parents? Cool. But at that age, it's, it's crazy. You're a child. And what stock market are you looking at? You can't even have a fucking account. So this shit is just so cap. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to be like 18 to have an account. Like... Nah. Or they desire, but I don't think that's something that you should be worried about when you're like 13 years old and you haven't even finished puberty. I feel like it's just unnecessary stress that this kid is adding to his life at a young age, mm. all because of a finance guru. Ooh, and so fake. On media. It you is okay no if your parents are working a stable job account. and they can provide. It doesn't shit. seem like you in the trenches, my boy. Like you're living in a nice house, dog. And you want to become a millionaire at 14? I woke up at 6:30 and went on a bike ride before taking a cold shower. Then I spent some time planning out. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
And you still sleep with a fucking teddy bear? I'm not listening to what you're talking about. Yeah, on a weekend? You did because you. This is clearly not on a school day. Who would wake up at six thirty on the weekend when you got time to sleep in? And how you getting out the shower with the robe already on? Then I spent some time cleaning out videos and had breakfast. After this, I had some calls and checked on my Discord server before spending some time scripted. Today I made around five hundred dollars, so pretty good. Finally, I edited some reels and once I got that ten. Why do you need to become a millionaire at 14 years old? That's like trying to fight millennia during the tutorial in Elden Ring. Like, bro, why are you worried about that? And why is this man taking cold showers at 14? Like, what, what is the purpose? This now, we'll say the good thing out of this video is that it seems like this man has a little schedule going on, you know, he's going to I don't like believe him. He's waking up pretty <laughs> early. Like, I do think that is good, but at the same time, I don't believe these little baby at 14, kids. Jesus Christ, bro. 14? Realized school wasn't for me at a young age. Became addicted to video games. Tried to becoming a YouTuber. Didn't really work out. Didn't know what to do in my life. I was depressed. Tried making TikToks. Went viral. Nothing changed, though. Realized I had to change. Still didn't change, though. Finally decided it was time. Started hitting the gym. Tried drop shipping. It failed. Started to make some progress in I the gym. I tried that, too. <laughs> started my personal brand. Found a lot. Decided it was time to lock in. Started my SMMA. This is all making the same progress day. towards my dream life. What do you mean I didn't know what to do in life? You're literally Five. a teenager. <laughs> most teenagers don't know what they want to do in their life. That is normal. That is like not most something adults that is don't know. happening to you. That's like playing a video game and being like, oh, I don't know what to do in the game when you haven't even passed the tutorial yet. Obviously, you're not going to know what Good to enough. do until you play the game more. And that mm -hmm. game being life. The more you live life, the more you're going to know what you want to do. Like, it's not just something that you just spawn in this world knowing what you want to do. Social media is dangerous, bro. Because why do we have this teen out here having I actually feel bad for y'all. At 13 years old. The only thing you should be stressing over at that age is the homework due on Monday. There is no need to stress about your life Even when you're that young. Another thing that this dude said in this video is became addicted to video games. And I'm going to make the wild assumption that this kid probably wasn't addicted to video games. And maybe he was just a child being a child and decided to play video games to occupy his time. Because what else can children do? Obviously, some kids play video games for a long time. But I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think this dude was probably one of them. I think the problem is... Is a lot of these hustle culture videos are meant for like an older crowd but when kids see them or like teens see them they try to apply that to their lives mm -hmm. for example let's say like some 30 year old says i was addicted to video games at 26 but now i'm 30 years old i start taking cold showers and i'm a sigma they're gonna say that put that out online then a teenager is gonna see that and be like oh shoot maybe i should apply that to my life now they're trying to live like this 30 year old rather than just trying to live their youth like exactly. any other kid i think that's the issue here stressing at 14 so i can chill at 20. There was another kid that I actually reacted to a year ago that did this exact same thing. And I feel like the problem with this is that you're going to burn out once you're 20 if you're stressing at 14 years old. There's no need to stress at 14 when you're living in a nice house with a home gym. Like, what is there to stress about? This man is just making up stress just so he can stress at that age. Day 167 of Monk Mode. 14-year-old entrepreneur. <laughs> That's the corniest thing I've ever seen. This <laughs> All this is cool. Matrix. That's the most Andrew Tate coded thing I have ever seen in my life, bro. I'm not gonna lie, with them boxing skills, please invest in a gun. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> them boxing skills are not safe. You dog. Overall, this is just the byproduct of like hustle culture being so popular online. Everyone thinks it can get toxic by 16, when in reality, that's just unrealistic. Honestly, this is a bigger issue than just self improvement or just hustle culture itself. It's more about the impact that social media has on the younger generation. Mm. And that's not even talking just these kids who are doing like this hustle culture thing, right? Just in in general i feel like social media has impacted the youth so much like if a streamer says something a bunch of kids are going to go out and say that same thing if a self-improvement guru says something a bunch of people are going to go out and say that same thing if someone's favorite influencer twerks they're probably going to go out and twerk like this pretty much just shows the impact think of social so. media these are just kids seeing what they see on social media and just replicating it you know my overall point because i've been yapping a little bit obviously there are some good habits that can be taught from these self-improvement slash hustle culture videos but that really isn't something that you should be worrying about when you're that young that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys the biggest problem with this is they're lying <laughs> that's the biggest issue this is all cap y'all ain't making no damn money i mean i i, I don't know for sure maybe maybe
one or two of them were, were telling the truth. Who knows? But I just call cap on on a lot of this. To be honest, there there's no way that you out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm grinding every day. I'm waking up at six. You was a goddamn lie. <laughs> As a child, no, but I do agree that a lot of them are just emulating what they see and, you know, they, they want to be content creators. So they're like, okay, I'm going to make a video like this to try to inspire other children like me. But it's like, what, what inspiration? <laughs> be a child. And I, I mean, I respect the, the grind and wanting to be successful, but worrying about that when you just like hit your teenage years is, is actually crazy. That's crazy. And I feel sorry for people who just only grew up with social media because y'all have so much pressure and, and, you know, you're always comparing yourself to other people. You're seeing all these things online and, you know, it's, it's making you feel like a failure. Like that must suck. I'm a millennial. So I grew up with social media and without it um, when I was really young. So I didn't have that, that pressure. So it just sucks. I, I see why the younger generations are the most depressed. This, this just seems like a lot. But shout out to these little baby kids. You know, they, they trying to do something, trying to, you know, make a name for themselves, <laughs> even if they lying. But that's not cool to just lie to people and say you're doing this shit when you're not. Like, fuck out here. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.